Hi everyone, Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Do Not Disturb in iOS 7. This feature was revealed in iOS 6. iOS 7 makes it a little easier to turn on and adds a little bit more control. So you want to open up Settings. If you don't see the Settings app on your main screen, pull down and start to type in Settings. Tap on that. Now, when you come to this screen, about three-fourths of the way down, you'll see Do Not Disturb with a small moon icon to the left. The moon icon will also show up throughout iOS 7 to let you know that you can turn it on or that it is already on. <clears throat> there are two modes you can use and you can use them at the same time. Manual, basically you turn on whenever you want it. If I'm going into a meeting, I have some friends over, I just need some peace of mind, some time to cool off or think or whatever. You can turn that on, and then as soon as your iPhone screen is off, you're not going to get notifications that annoy you. With either of these, if your screen is on, you'll get a notification drop down while the screen is on, but you won't get sound depending on your setting. I normally use this with scheduled. So with scheduled set to on, you can tap on this from and to, and you can choose when you want the quiet hours or do not disturb mode to start, and when you want it to stop. Now during that time, there are some things that will make noises. I have it set to allow calls from favorites. So anyone that I've told my iPhone, this is a favorite contact. Uh, it could be a boss, it could be family members, emergency contacts, that will come through and ring. Repeated calls is also a nice option to leave on. If you get two phone calls from the same number within three minutes, the second one will ring. So in this case, Say someone I care about has either been in an accident or needs help, but their phone is broken, they can call me twice from any phone and it will ring the second time. Now, the silence option down here always means even when the screen is on, you're not going to get an alert sound for the drop down notification that will show up. If I choose only while the iPhone is locked, then I will get sounds when my screen is on. This is a personal preference. I'm using my iPhone most of the time with Do Not Disturb mode on in bed when I don't want sounds no matter what, so I choose always. Now, alarms will still ring through, so you don't have to worry about missing a alarm and being late for work because you use Do Not Disturb. And if you want to turn Do Not Disturb mode on manually, the easiest way to do it is to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and see this little moon logo here again. We can tap that. It will tell us Do Not Disturb mode on, and we also see the Moon logo up here in the status bar. We can do the same thing to turn it off, and the Moon logo disappears. Now, as far as contacts go, if you want to add a contact, you just go into your contacts, pick the contact you want. Here we have Apple. Scroll down to the bottom, and you can add to favorites. And here I can choose which of these I want to be a favorite, so that if I got a phone call from main one or home or cell or whatever uh, abbreviations and phone types you have those can come through. So that's a quick look at how to use Do Not Disturb in iOS 7. We expect this will be very similar in iOS 7.1. You can head over to GottaBeMobile.com to check out more about this feature and other iPhone and iPad features.